Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today we're going to be talking about Venom being an MCU and uh, the whole Sony Spider-Verse and all the confusion that's going along with that. And I'm just going to give my thoughts and try to explain to the best of my abilities just what the hell is going on. So uh, let's get into it. A while back, it was announced that Sony would be making a Venom solo movie coming out late 2018. With this announcement came a mixture of emotions with some people on board and others furious, cursing Sony Pictures and all they stand for, but overall left people with more questions and even shittier answers. Uh, will Venom be in the MCU? Will it be connected to the MCU? Will Tom Holland appear in Venom? Um, and our first confirmation came from president of Marvel Studios himself, Kevin Feige, saying Venom will not be connected. This obviously infuriated fans, uh, like how will this even be possible because Spider-Man is crucial to Venom's story and how he even comes to be with his powers and all and Venom is also debatably Spider-Man's greatest villain so if Sony just made it impossible for us to see them interact that's a hard step backwards for them, especially after their failure with the Amazing Franchise, the Amazing Spider-Man franchise, sorry, and our last time seeing Venom on the big screen was a letdown. Venom in any form needs to be spectacular. We got a slight boost of confidence when it was announced Tom Hardy would be taking on the role of Venom in the solo movie. Uh, so even though we had the same studio that made the god-awful Amazing Spider-Man 2, we at least got an amazing actor to portray this beloved character and hopefully do it justice. Um, now recently, what got us all talking about this so much is the infamous interview with Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal, if you don't know, head producer at Sony where she was asked if Venom and Spider-Man Homecoming would be in the same universe. And she responded, yes, they'll be in the same world, just being adjuncts and in different places. Now everyone and their moms took this as confirmation of Venom in the MCU. Honestly, when I heard this, I caught the hype as well. I was like, fuck yeah, Venom interacting with the Avengers, and I'm gonna see a badass brawl, Spidey vs. Venom. I was relieved thinking that I knew Sony wasn't this stupid. This was all a part of Sony and Marvel Studios' plan, just tricking us uh, for it to pay off later. They were smart enough to not fuck up a great Spidey villain's chance to meet Spidey. Um, but this relief was short-lived as this Venom MCU hype caught wind with Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal. And they made an other statement, effectively killing all the hype by clarifying a bullshit statement that shouldn't have been made in the first place. Once again, denouncing Venom and Spidey being connected. Then saying there's always a chance, which is basically the equivalent of a girl giving you blue balls and then saying some stupid shit just to lead you on some more. Um... Now, going along with the Venom movie, Sony announced their Silver Sable and Black Cat solo movie uh, to go along in their Spider-Verse. And just recently, we heard they might have plans for a Kraven and Mysterio solo movie, too. Along with all of this, we now know Carnage will be the main villain in the Venom solo movie. First off, what I'm going to say is who. As in, who the hell wanted this? Who wanted a Venom solo movie? Who wanted Silver, Sable, and Black Cat, or Craven and Mysterio solo films? And who wanted all these amazing characters to not interact with the one character that was reason for their very creation? Who wanted to do that to arguably the most iconic character in pop culture? It sure as hell wasn't me, or Marvel Studios for that matter. I just thought that with the successful and outstanding reception from fans for Civil War Spider-Man's appearance that Sony wouldn't be making these stupid decisions anymore. Like, after the failed Amazing Spider-Man franchise, Sony let the rightful Marvel Studios handle Spider-Man and we have since gotten the best live action Spider-Man yet and that was only in 20 minutes. And... I'm more than happy to debate that 
with anyone. So I don't really know what Sony is thinking, but best case scenario, Sony makes the films connected to the MCU in the same way Netflix shows are distant but connected. So maybe since Marvel Studios is owned by Disney and they would want to outright uh, put out a rated R film, uh, Sony can make them and that'll be still in the same world, just in a darker place. Because I wanted so bad to see Mysterio and Craven in the movies with Spider-Man, not in their own movies with a bullshit plot to explain why the fuck they're even together. But hopefully Sony won't make these kinds of movies anymore and they let Marvel handle all things Spidey. So yeah guys, those are my thoughts on that. Um, I just saw Spider-Man last, last Thursday, so I'll put out my review slash breakdown on that. But yeah, uh, if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up, comment if I got anything wrong or if you have any ideas yourself. Um, this is a really confusing matter, so I'm open to any kind of interpretation from anyone. Uh, so yeah, and uh, subscribe. So um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.